should really do a project update. Y'all remember this? This thing, the uh, air spray gun from Trash. It blew up. But you knew that from the thumbnail. So I feel really dumb just saying that in the video. Alright, so here's what happened. We had family in over Thanksgiving, which you know from my last video where I built the uh, saw blade axes with my cousin and my brother, whose family is with me all the time, but my cousin was, you know, with me over the week because their family was here for Thanksgiving and we built a saw blade axe in this really, really amazing video. The best YouTube video I've ever watched, actually. And uh, there's absolutely no reason why anyone hasn't watched it yet. It's just amazing and, I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not going to ask you to watch it, but like, anyone who's anyone will have watched it by now. Which is only like 27 people, which is really kind of surprising because it's the best video I've ever seen and like, I think a lot more people would be like people and would have watched it by now. But they were here for a while and uh, we did that and you know, he wants to see everything I did so he's like, oh cool, gun made of cash. And I'm like, here I'll show you and maybe you can shoot it. So I loaded up, you know, I put propane in it like I always do and stuffed a wad of toilet paper down the barrel because I didn't really I think I bent my last start up too badly to fix. I'm like, okay, here, I'll shoot it. <laughs> All right, here, watch this. This is going to be awesome. I pull the trigger like that. It goes... <laughs> and literally, as you can see, if you look down, the seam of the handle, this used to be the handle right here, the seam blew out and uh, blew out on this side and on this side. And I think it cinched a little bit of hair off my arm too, which, I mean, not that there was much hair to remove because my arms are really big manly hairy arms and big manly hairy arms never have much hair on them and it blew out both sides and uh scared me a little and uh i was a bit surprised because in all my other testing it actually held up really well but then i remembered the things i'd fired out of it were like a nerf dart which is very loose in the pvc pipe like you know there's not a ton of friction it's not jammed in there very tight it can shoot out fairly easily and the blowgun dart, which was also very loose in the PVC pipe, so there wasn't really any huge amount of pressure buildup, which is probably why it held up so well, and so surprisingly to me. Because, I mean, it's made of plastic bottles, you know, it's not, not exactly pressurated stuff, and it does put out a considerable amount of pressure. Um, so I guess this will just be a lesson for all of us. Trash is not meant to hold pressure, and it doesn't make a very good combustion-powered gun. Most normal people wouldn't need to be told that, but this entirely normal person is just a little more normal than most normal people, and he normally needs to be shown things in a bit more normal way than most normally normal people would. I think I, I, think I said in the other video that... I'm gonna do this, but I don't recommend you do this. So, I don't really recommend that you do this at home. But I'm going to. Basically the whole, don't try this at home, but I'm gonna do it at home anyway, thing that everyone does who builds anything cool. And so I'm gonna say again, don't try this at home. I mean, there's no reason anyone should ever try to build a hairspray powered gun out of trash at home. That's absolutely stupid. I mean, why would anyone want to try this at home? It's, it's so dumb. No normal person would want to try this at home, but you know, if any normal people who are a bit more normal than most normally normal people, like normally the kind of normal person that I normally am, then they might actually want to try this on one of their normal days. Of course, taking normally taking into account that it could explode if they jam stuff down the barrel too tightly. 
you would normally want to take that into account if you're a normal person, like I am, completely normal person. Yeah, so while this so while this was a fun challenge for myself to see if I could actually build a fully functioning hairspray powered gun out of trash, I don't recommend it for um, abnormally normal people, only for the utmost normal of normal people. So don't try this at home. Um, I thought it actually worked pretty well in the original video, which it did, but when I put any real pressure inside it, it blew up, which is not very surprising when you think about it normally. So don't try this at home, even though I did. And if you do try this at home, you are not a normal person. And... Ugh. I will also apologize for the lack of actual good video content this week. Normally, in my normal life, in my normal day, I normally have some time to come out in the workshop and build something completely normal. However, in this completely normal week, and in the last completely normal week, I actually found that on most normal days, I did not have enough time to come out and film or build anything, which means I'm now crunched for time between now and Christmas for reasons I won't mention right now. So I hope you will accept this video and my apology that comes along with it. So sorry that you don't have a real video to watch, but I have some good stuff gonna be coming out soon, which is what I'm supposed to be doing right now, but I decided to film this project update instead, which means I just have more to do in a minute when I shut the camera off. But I hope that you will go and look at some of my other videos, if you haven't already, and hopefully this video, which is gonna end up being really long for no reason whatever except that I'm talking just to fill time, because this is a really lame video, and I really hope the camera's on because I can't remember now if I actually turned it on or not, and it would be really terrible if I walked over there after talking for five minutes straight and realized the camera wasn't on and I have to do it all over again. That would be really, really bad. So please go and check out my other videos, and the video where I actually did this, even though it's terribly filmed, has really poor lighting and looks absolutely silly compared to my more recent videos. It was still the best video ever. No, that was the other video. I'm sorry, this was the second best video ever, despite its poor lighting and all around badness. I'm very sorry. So like this video for no reason whatsoever because it's a lame video. And subscribe if you want to see more of these lame videos. I will see you in the next lame video. See you then. Jake out.